KSYR TV Syracuse. Now, 11 nonstop minutes of news. Good evening, everyone. The court of public opinion with minds made up already. But a Manlius Village judge tonight simply holding a hearing for the 18 year old. He was the only one in court of the three teens arrested last month for hopping the fence at the Swan Pond, killing Faye and stealing her babies. Two younger teens are going through family court. News Channel Line's Ashley Kafaro was in Manlius for both the happenings inside and outside court. <laughs> A harsh reception for the 18-year-old suspect as he walked into the village Amelia's courthouse Thursday night for his arraignment. Why did you do it? You think that white shirt's going to make you look innocent? Why did you do it? The teen facing felony charges being handled by the DA's office and also hit with DEC violation tickets. The teen entering a not guilty plea. Everybody loves Faye. He should be seriously punished. It's sad to drive by that swamp on every single day. And Father Manny now slipping into depression, according to the biologist who takes care of these birds, something the swan will go through for about three months. As for the teen's future, it remains to be seen how he'll be punished. I would like to see him go to jail and honestly, I would like to see his parents go to jail too. I think they are just as responsible as he is. As you can see, just an emotional day for this tight knit community. As for the 18 year old, the judge did allow him to go home as he awaits his next court appearance scheduled for August 3rd. In Manlius, Ashley Gaffaro, News Channel 9. The cygnets are doing well, but too small to go back into the swan pond right now. The biologists would like to return them in early August, but Manny would have to leave because he wouldn't recognize them.